Hi, I'm Maggie Holmes with Crate Paper, and today I'm here to show you some things that you can do with my new paint from the Sunny Days collection. So there's three colors, and we match these, of course, to the collection so that they um, blend and uh, mix right in with all of the papers and all of the stickers and everything. I love this kind of purpley blue and a light aqua blue and then uh, just a basic perfect pink. So a few things you can do with these that I've done is some gift boxes and here I added polka dots. Super easy, you just take any pencil eraser, it's good to have an eraser that hasn't been used yet because it'll be nice and flat and you just um, squeeze your paint onto a little plate or something and then dip it and then do your little dots and you could do a pattern and do it really straight or like I did you can just do random and then after that of course you'll wait for a while for it to dry and then you can add the rest of your little embellishments on for your package. Another one I did with the paint, this one is a lot more simple, um, but I wrapped my gift first in plain craft paper and then I took just some masking tape or you can use painter's tape and I taped it off in a diagonal. I'll take that off and then just use a regular foam brush and painted that on there, waited for it to dry wrapped it with some yarn, and then I took the bows from Sunny Days, and they have a little strip of adhesive already on there, and so all you have to do is stick that in. You can see how well that blue um, ties right in. Turned out super cute, fun little gift, and then whoever you give it to can keep the bow, so I love that. The other um, new product we have in Sunny Days that goes with the paints, of course you can use the paints on their own, but also, we have these really cute stencils. So these come in a set of two, so both stencils come in the set. And I just wanted to show you how to use those and some fun things you can do with those. So I'm first going to bring in, I did another gift box, and this just happened to fit perfectly on my gift box, so I thought it would just be so cute. And so I laid that on there and stenciled it with the aqua paint. And then what I wanted to show you is, so you can see these top portions of each stencil, they create, they're like a tile pattern. That's what they were inspired by, is um, the fun intricate tiles where they kind of are blocked out in squares in a repeating fashion. So we did those, but then on the bottom, you'll see these little um, strips. And so these you can do on their own to just create a border or a stripe across a page or you can also use them and coordinate with the um, tile stencils to kind of add an outline or a line in between. And so I'll show you here on this one, I used this, then I swapped over to this one with just the line and dot, and then I put those, I'm gonna line that right up like that, and then stenciled through, and then went around the box. So the one thing you'll want to do is once you do your first tile, um, if you go right ahead and start doing the other parts while that paint's still wet, you're gonna smear it and you'll mess it all up. So you wanna wait until that dries, then you'll do your next part. And then because here you'd be overlapping onto wet paint again, you could swap over to this side, wait for both of those to dry, and then you can turn it and do the other. So that's really one of the main tips that I have, and if you've done any stenciling, you know how that works. Um, so that, just really simple, and then I didn't want to cover up the pattern, and so I just took some basic twine and wrapped that around. And one other fun thing I wanted to show you is you could just add a cute little charm from Sunny Days, and when you're tying on that twine, you could just loop that through and include a little charm. This pink one would look cute on there. And then again, whoever you're giving that to can keep the little charm and add it and make a necklace or add it to a charm bracelet or something like that. So kind of a little extra surprise gift. And also I thought these stencils would be really fun to use on these little gift bags. So I love using these vellum gift bags because I love that they're kind of see-through. And then also the craft of course is so fun. So one thing I wanted to show you is you really can be creative with the things that you do with the stencils and the patterns. So here what I did is just did the basic 
square, kept it really simple. And then here, it might not look like the same thing as this because it's turned. And so if all you do is take this, turn it on the diagonal, and I started with that, and then what I did is, again, after that dries all the way, then I took this and I kind of determined how I wanted it to be. So if you look here, I decided, okay, I'm going to have the petals of the flowers facing toward each other. And so I took this one and I lined it up like this. And then when I stenciled through, I had that pattern. And the reason why I did that is so as I kind of went around the bag, I could follow that same pattern and it would look like a really nice pattern. So you could take a 12 by 12 and do that same effect and start in the middle and then just build your way out and it would create a really fun and beautiful pattern. And so then also again, in between, I had some space here. I made a little room before I did that next one. Then I took this back in here and did the line and dots. So if you left more room, you could do like this one, or you could do the one with the flowers. So I just really am excited. I'm excited to play more with these because I haven't been able to play with them as much as I've wanted to yet. I'm excited to do more of that. And also, I'm super excited to see what you all create because I know that you're all so creative and I can't wait to see the fun things that you do with that because really there are so many possibilities that you can do with mixing and changing the layout up and all of that. So I'm going to show you how to use these on a piece of cardstock. The one thing I learned with these stencils, because they are um, very intricate, is that they work best on smooth surfaces. So smooth cardstock as opposed to textured and things like these smooth gift bags and the smooth gift box. Of course, you can use them on other things that are textured, but just know that um, it gives a little more room for the bleeding under where the paint will go maybe a little bit under and kind of bleed into the texture of the paper, which gives a whole other look and it's fine. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, but if you want more of the clean um, image to come through, then I found that the smooth surfaces work really the best. So I have smooth cardstock here and one thing, so I already did a couple of these just playing with it and super simple, easy thing you could do is put this on here and then what I would do is measure this out and trim it so that it would create a card and so I would take you know I would fold this in half here and trim it so it was exactly the same front and back and then you just have a cute little card and same thing on this side or you could take it and fill up the whole page so we designed these you know so you could fit it on there and just fill up the whole pattern so showing you now getting down to how to do it we'll use the pink here this paint works really well it's nice and smooth so what you'll do is your hands will get a little bit messy i found because what you'll want to do is hold the stencil down so if i were to just hold over here and start stenciling you know over on this corner um, you can see how it has a little bit of a tendency to want to lift up and that's how all stencils are unless you were to um, really tape it down, which you could. You could also tape it down if you wanted to do that with some washi tape or something um, and that way you might not get your hands as dirty. But for me, I like to just go for it and so what I do is use my two fingers and I kind of hold around the area that I'm going to stencil um, and so holding that corner down You'll want to use a good stencil brush that also gives you um, the best results is when you use a good stencil brush and then you want to just um, go in a pouncing motion and go up and down. And so once you get that little section done, kind of move on. And again, so just straight up and down as opposed to brushing like as if you were painting if you need more paint, you can reload and then again move kind of over to this section so I'm holding it down. Um, when you get down to this area where the other parts are, you'll want to be careful not to let the paint go in there or you can take some washi tape and just mask that off and cover it up and then that way you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to kind of go back over here and so here's where it gets a little bit messy because now you're going to kind of stick your fingers in the wet paint which is totally fine 
wipes off really easy. And I just keep working my way around. Again, just up and down. Um, one other tip is you don't want to load too much paint on your brush. Of course, you'll want enough to really um, go through the stencil, but if you get too much, that's when it also has a tendency to bleed underneath the design, and then it makes the design a little bit more, um, not as crisp. And almost done here. See how easy it is and quick. And then I always just kind of check back over to make sure I didn't miss anything. And then when you lift it up, you see your gorgeous design. I just love how that turns out so pretty. Um, so again, you can create all these patterns. You could finish right there, but you could also wait until that dries and then move on and do another one and create these fun patterns with it. Super easy to wipe off. You can either take them to the sink and wipe them or just use a wipe. Um, but I just wanted to show you how to use those and some of the fun things that you can do. And I cannot wait for you guys to get these and to use them and make sure to tag me on your posts and um, the things that you create so I can see and so that we can all be inspired by each other. And I hope you enjoy them as much as I do.